Tuesday the 19th of May 2021, Jeff Thompson training log, fight for the streets, qualification for the streets, selection for the streets, Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. I've just finished a challenging session because I had to channel all of my frustrations and feelings on the simple fact that I spoke to one of the English competitors who will be flying out, as they will have done yesterday and arrived in Croatia for the European Karate Championships. My call with UK Sport has been cancelled due to a government urgent matter of business. The qualification for the European Karate Championships is an issue that must be now addressed on the basic excuses that I have received and what I will now state publicly as a discriminatory set of policies that have not allowed either myself or any competitor the ability to be assessed, considered and ultimately selected for those championships. I have declared my intentions over a year ago following my return to the competition square after 35 years in order to highlight the loss of young lives on the streets. Since that time, many lives continue to be lost on those streets and I've dedicated myself in lockdown with a declared intent over six weeks ago of my willingness to be considered. I've spoken to performance directors, those on the Olympic pathway, those that have not been considered, so I've been told, by the EKF president, and following a number of email exchanges, I've been firstly acknowledged for my contribution to England and British Karate. I might add World Karate to that, following the World Karate president, Mr. Espinos, citing that golden era in the 80s, having contributed to Olympic acknowledgement, if only for one games of the Olympic cycle. If that is indeed the case, and my contributions are being acknowledged, why are they not being considered in what I have asked to do and be simply sought the permission to do? I've been told I may not like what the final decision has been from the English Karate Federation. No, I do not like what I have heard, what I have seen, and what I've been subjected to. For anyone who doubts the absolute seriousness of this attempt in so many ways, both on the square and off the square, consider this. As the European Karate Championships come to an end, it will have seen one year since George Floyd was murdered, where a global movement challenged the racial injustices at that time. Since that time, what message has English Karate sent out, along with the echoes of cries of disdain at the injustices that continue to be experienced? I have watched, observed, and now I have become fully engaged. The diversity in karate competition is virtually non-existent. It is a case of whether you can afford it that determines whether you can qualify. And what was the revised qualification criteria within these extraordinary times that would see elite athlete status afforded as a result of government in DCMS and UK sport? Transparency, governance, objectivity and fairness. This is not acceptable, but anyone who knows me knows I will not accept this and I've put both of my knees on the floor and I pray to a higher God. So, whilst those ask me to put more work in, for those who are telling me how to punch, for those who are telling me that blisters on the feet are a better, as well as cold hamstrings, that does not suggest tradition and modern can, go, can coexist. That is what we did in the 80s. People are trying to erase it 
and take it back to a traditional age. There is so much now that must be revealed. So, my fight for the streets will continue, for equality, equity, diversity and inclusion. And let's see if the truth once revealed sets free all that is unacceptable into the art of the acceptable. Good luck to all those who are representing their country. If I'm not afforded the opportunity here, I will go elsewhere. Watch this space. Jeff Thompson signing out. Usha.